this isn't any fun at all. Nope. Howdy homies, I'm back in the Dax. I'm up here in New York in the Adirondack State Park on Cranberry Lake. Up here with my buddy JP and our goal is a week, seven days. It took me six hours to drive here. Yesterday we paddled in, we started at Wanakina, paddled up the channel a bit, past the Ranger School. Now we're at Site 42. Not very long of a paddle, I'd say about two and a half miles maybe. But the boat traffic through this channel is intense. We must have seen 30 boats last night. Can't knock them, it's their lake too. We've got some rain, probably until about 10 o'clock this morning. So we're just chilling out, hanging out, taking it easy. And when the rain lets off, we're gonna head around the bend, see what we can see. And I'm looking forward to it. And being that it's raining and we're not going anywhere for a little while, I'm gonna have me one of these. Check out that bad boy, Al Cacino. It's brilliant, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. I bought these on the name alone, and it turns out it was worth it because I had one at home and they're fantastic. 13.5%. Yep, fun fact. Can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Yummy. It's 11.30, the rain is letting up, the sun is coming out. It's time to make our move. Got to break down my tarp, pack up my stuff. We're out of here. Site number 42, she was good to us. The rain has stopped. She's all cleaned up, picked up. We're all packed up, ready to go. Well, we're back on the water, guys. The rain stopped rather abruptly. It's almost lunchtime. It's been raining all morning. Now it's uh, pretty warm and I'm feeling like the rain gear is a mistake. So probably gonna take that off. It's looking pretty nice now compared to what it was like half an hour ago. Blue skies, tailwind, we're off. Heck yeah. Windy. Really nice though. Paddling a heavy boat that's all loaded up with a ton of gear in a headwind with a single blade paddle it's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm not used to this at all. It's a lot different. You can see the campsite up here. Making progress, having a good time. Daughter made me some cookies. Oh yeah. Sugar. Some ice cold water. <sighs> what a treat. Ooh. Give myself a brain freeze if I'm not careful. We are currently at campsite number 40 and we don't really like it. It's pretty exposed and windy. We know there's rain coming tomorrow. We're gonna be pinned down tomorrow. I don't really wanna be pinned down here. So we're gonna try and paddle our way across this section of the lake into Black Duck Cove. 
There's three campsites there and I'm hoping that one of them is better than this one. Definitely looks more sheltered, so that's good. We'll see. It's pretty windy, but we have a tailwind. It's gonna be pushing us right where we wanna go. It doesn't look too bad out there, but still, wind makes me nervous. I think it's gonna be worth it. I don't wanna be stuck here for two days. Neither does JP, so we're uh, onward. Onward to Black Duck Cove. Cali ho! You scallywags! That is big water. And we're not even in the wide open section of the lake yet. Well, we're paddling up onto site 30 right now and it looks like the efforts have paid off the rewards spoils of war wouldn't do that with a kevlar for me we even got ourselves a picnic table so we made it into Black Duck Cove and we checked out all the sites that were in here. There are three. Checked out 20, 20 was exposed, windy, not a very good landing. 30 where we're at right now, we checked that out and then made the paddle over to 31. And 31 seems like it's a little bit tight and it doesn't have as good of a landing as this one does. first loon that I've heard on the whole trip. So we came back here. This place is, it's nice. It's very wide and spread open. If you're ever coming here and wanna do some camping and you have tents, this is a good site to come to because there's plenty of nice flat spots for a tent. Looks like there's a lot of spots for hammocks. It's a really nice spot. It's pretty windy out on that lake where we just paddled from out of the Dead Creek flow and it's nice and sheltered in here. So we know that it's gonna rain and this looks like it's gonna be a really good spot to just chill out and spend some time. The paddle was worth it. That site we were at 40 was just pounding wind, so I'm really glad that we did this. Now it's time to unload the canoes, set up camp, and enjoy ourselves, get ourselves situated. Yeah. Adirondacks. Cheers, folks. Yeah, buddy. Perfect. Cheers, fucker. Yeah. <laughs> Straight from the butcher. Walk me through what you're making here, man. I don't know what we call it. What should we call it? The lady drink. The lady drink, all right. The lady drink. The, the pink starts, slipper. Starts with, there you go. The lady slipper. The lady slipper. The lady slipper starts with some um, Bombay Bramble. It's black, blackberry and raspberry. Then we got the raspberry lime seltzer, a moderate squeeze of lime juice. Definitely refreshing. Drinking good in the woods. I'm getting our community tarp set up while he's making us a drink. Teamwork makes the dream work. Got the community tarp all set up for when the rain comes. We're ready to hunker down. That was absolutely delicious, but I am stuffed, packed to the gills, man. I couldn't finish it. I fell short, just a little short. Story of my life. Ah, that cork's on there, wicked tight, bub. 
thunder keeps on rolling and it keeps on getting closer. And the last time JP checked his weather, he said 8.30, 9 o'clock-ish, 9.30-ish. Storms are supposed to be rolling in. As cool as this is, I think I'm gonna step away from the tripod. <laughs> Wanna hit this? Yeah, why not? Fingers crossed that this shelter holds up. Nothing comes undone because it is boring. Now we're having fun. Woo! She held up just fine. Lucky for me, because that was intense. Everything is nice and dry. It is quite nice right now. Sun's trying to poke out. But they say there's more rain coming, so we're staying put. Gonna have a little bit of breakfast for lunch. Got some blueberries from the homestead. Some pancake batter with cinnamon in it some bacon bag of bacon that'll come in handy later smell that cinnamon yeah lots of cinnamon i like cinnamon Oh, here's a first for me. Me too. JP caught a bass, a small bass, that took a hook pretty hard, and the fish basically died on the spot. So, he fried it up. I'm gonna give it a shot. No hot sauce or anything, because I want to taste it. 
I eat that all day. That's pretty bomb. All day long. It's not fishy. I would definitely eat that again. A little more seasoning and some hot sauce. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you always hear very conflicting opinions about eating bass. It's not bad. Now, all those worms will take hold and a bass will burst out of my chest in about three weeks. Wash it down with a can of America. Pretty good, right on, man. It was pretty good. Huh. Not bad. I got some good food in me. Uh, JP made me another one of his lady slipper, lady slipper, <laughs> yeah, lady <laughs> slipper concoctions. Oh, and, uh, that's good stuff. Yeah, feeling right. It's been a crazy couple days, rain on and off, on and off, on and off. It's made for a pretty adventurous, fun time. Cheers. Well, I do think all the bad weather has passed. With any luck, the rest of this trip, smooth sailing weather-wise. See you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. And what a beautiful morning it is. It looks like the weather broke. Sun is out. Birds are chirping. It's not raining. It's awesome. Pretty excited about that. We're gonna get a quick bite to eat and break down camp and head up the lake. Yeah. Ice cold. Yeah. Magical. Back on the water. We're just gonna stick along the shoreline, do some fishing, make our way up to campsite 27, 28, talk about what we're gonna do from there. Looking like it's shaping up to be a real nice day. Giving the spoon a go. See how she works. Talk about bad luck. Oh, he came off the hook a lot easier than I thought he was going to, and he swam away, so... Chances are he's fish food. Look at the size of that root ball right there. That tree got uprooted years ago. That's awesome. Let's see if I can sneak through here and get you a better angle. Site number 27 was occupied, so now... We've got to make our way to the island. One big body of water. Holy crap. That's awesome. Look at this. Going to Joe Indian Island. Couldn't ask for better weather for the crossing, that's for sure. It's nice. There's site number 22. I'm gonna swing in and check that out. Looks pretty nice. Right on a point. Looks like we have a good landing. Oh boy. I'll definitely be checking out more, but I'm taking a break right here. Nah. 
Eis. Dude, the water is so much nicer over here. Got a real nice landing here. Plenty of room for two big canoes. Check out this view. What a spot. Nice fire pit with a grill. We've even got some tin foil. Really liking the canoe. It's a fun little vessel. Not what I'm used to. It's very different, but I like it. It's nice not having to worry about scratching up and banging up your boat. Just beating it up, tossing it around, dragging it over the ground. I like it. I think I'm going to go for a swim and then eat lunch. Sounds like a pretty solid plan. I knew that bacon was gonna come in handy. Got this awesome lunch, got this fantastic view. Boats. And I get to wash it all down with ice cold beer. This isn't any fun at all. have my setup all pitched. War Bonnet Superfly, War Bonnet Wookie, War Bonnet Eldorado. Awesome setup. Not sponsored by the way. Lake. Views for days folks. And then we have JP's setup over here. He is also rocking a War Bonnet Superfly in a sick camo pattern. He's got the War Bonnet Eldorado, and he's got a One Tigress 40 degree underquilt. It's a good looking setup. With a view. Look at that. Styling and profiling. What's up, duck? I don't have anything for you. I could touch that duck right now. You are domesticated. You want to come home? Want to go to New Hampshire? We're not going to feed you. Dude. That's my... Look at that. People have been feeding you. That's not good. You're not supposed to be this friendly. Careful, you might be rabid. Are you a party duck? Looking for some beer? We got bourbon. I mean, ducks are delicious. I haven't caught any trout yet, but I could certainly catch that duck. I'm not serious, dude. It's okay. You just looked at you like rude. <laughs> All right, bud. It's like no food, this is bullshit. I'm out of here. Thanks for stopping by, duck. See you next time. Duck don't give a fuck. Duck is used to dumb people. 
It's about 4.30. We're just out here cruising around the island. We're gonna do some fishing. That slapping is loud. It's gonna be annoying, I'm sure of it. Slappy boat, slap, slappy boat. Check out that view. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Despite all the boats and everything, at first the boats were slightly discouraging because I wasn't quite expecting that. The Cranberry Lake Wilderness is a huge wilderness area, so I thought that it was going to be a lot more wildernessy, but it's not. There's boats everywhere. And at first, that slightly annoyed me, but I sat down and thought about it for a minute. And the way the options, the way I see it, are enjoy myself while I'm out here or be miserable because there's boats out here too. I'm glad I'm out here. Pretty cool. Just two little islands out here. I had to come check them out. Check it out. Pretty cool little spot to hang out and have lunch. I absolutely love finding neat little places like this off the beaten path. It's just a little, little teeny tiny island out in the middle of nowhere with a fire ring on it. It's awesome. You'd never know it was there unless you get out of your boat and find it. Look at it out here. This is awesome. It is really nice out here. some iced tea and lemonade mix out of some ice cold water and lemon and JP is going to turn these into drinks boom yeah cheers man cheers thank you sir good day Pretty sweet sight. cold water to make some milk and granola. Some blueberries. That's half a packet, by the way. What a magical combination. A lot of people really don't like powdered milk. I love it. It's one of the advantages of growing up dirt poor white trash. It's like you get used to stuff like this. It's really paying off. This is amazing. We are all packed up, ready to go. Nice, enjoyable morning, but we're out of here. Site is all picked up, tip top. Might as well be trolling. Very nice morning on the water. We left the campsite this morning 
and we are heading back towards the vehicles. I really wanted to wake up and paddle out to the East Inlet and maybe check out the Brandy River flow, but we don't have the time. There's gonna be rain moving in tonight. So there was no point in putting ourselves farther away from our vehicles just to paddle all the way back in rain or maybe be pinned down and not be able to paddle back at all. So now the dilemma is, do we just paddle all the way back to our vehicles and pack up and drive home? Or do we hit a campsite, wake up in the rain tomorrow, pack up in the rain, paddle out, pack up and drive home? I'm really conflicted right now. I don't know what I want to do. So I'm hoping that at some point throughout the day, the opportunity for the day to make up my mind for me will, will present itself. I really don't want to leave, but there's no point in just sitting in rain. I guess if we get to a campsite, the hawk's nest, if that's open, maybe I'll want to stay there because it looked like a really nice site. And every time we paddled by it, there were people there. Finally landed a fish. Taking some effort. I've been having a really hard time landing fish. Yesterday I caught a couple fish, but didn't quite catch them. I hooked them, I couldn't land them. Just so frustrating. Thanks for the fun, guy. Check it out. I just figured out how to turn my dry bag into my rod holder. I've got the handle stuffed in the strap right there. And then the shoulder strap supports it. It's not going anywhere. Neat. 43 is occupied, so I'm not sure about what we're gonna do from here. That, in my mind, was gonna be a deciding factor. And apparently not, because I'm still undecided. However, I did just get a monster tug on my fishing rod. And, uh, all my equipment is gone. Swivel, spoon, everything kind of want to believe that it was a monster pike. But the world will never know. We just got our, uh, we just got the license check by a ranger. That was pretty fun. He was a cool dude. Both of us are legit and legal. So we had a nice conversation and just sat and talked with the guy for a while about the lake. Seemed like a really nice guy. You never know when those guys are gonna pop up on you, so. Have your licenses. Just buy your license and save yourself a lot of trouble. That was a pleasant experience. He was really nice. It would have been a lot different if we didn't have our paper. That's the first time in years, years and years and years that I've been checked for my fishing license. Thrilling. Back on 42 and we're going to take a break, talk about what we're going to do from here. We're either going to stay or we're going to go. It's as simple as that. However, as we were paddling in, I noticed a whole bunch of wood that was cut floating on the water. And now that I'm up here, check this out. Somebody came in and completely dismantled this fire pit. I am baffled why someone would do that. There's a rock right there. Piece of wood. There's the floating firewood. I don't understand why someone would do that. Whoever it is that did that, you're an asshole. All right, guys, we're throwing in the towel. This is it. There's really nasty weather coming, blowing in tonight. Thunderstorms, 90% rain, and it's forecasted for days. Even the ranger said that there was gnarly weather coming in tomorrow and that we would be wise to get off the lake if we had that opportunity. So I'm gonna take his word for it. He knows what he's talking about. That's his job. I just don't see much of a point in spending one more night at a site that we've already been to to pack up and paddle out in the rain. It just doesn't make much sense to me. It doesn't sound very fun, especially at the end of a trip. It kind of sucks to sacrifice such a nice day. Today is a nice day, but if we could have stayed at Site 43, I would have done it. Because it's a different site, really nice, lots of rock ledges and stuff, and it just would have been fun out on the lake. 
but it was occupied. 42 was open. Now we're heading back down into Wanakina. 41 is occupied. There's really no other options. So we're paddling out. So my thoughts on Cranberry Lake. Pretty cool lake. It's big. Lots and lots and lots of undeveloped shoreline. It's great. It looks really nice. But it is not a wilderness experience. There's boats everywhere. And that's fine, right? They have a right to be here. It's their lake too. But if you're looking for a wilderness experience, this isn't really the lake to do it. And again, that's okay. I'm glad to have come out. I'm glad that I was here. I'm glad that I've seen it. It's big water. JP and I, we really enjoyed ourselves. It was a fun trip. It was a very fun trip. The canoe. It's the first trip in my Old Town Pathfinder. And you know what? I liked it. It's a lot different than what I'm used to. No doubt, like a lot different, but it's fun. It's capable, confidence inspiring, very stable, and I can get along on lakes just fine with this thing. It's a joy to paddle. This thing's awesome. I'm looking forward to getting it on some rivers. Happy with the boat. I'm gonna definitely put some money into some seats. And that's about it, guys. I don't really think I have anything else to say other than it was a fun time. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your support. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. And that's a wrap. Awesome.